Hey everyone, how's it going? How's your Dreamforce going so far? Cool. So my name is Ken Naku. Um, I'm a software engineer at DocuSign and work on uh, DocuSign for Salesforce more specifically. So first things first, before we do anything, um, obligated to show you this slide. I'm sure you've seen it a million times, but pretty much don't make any financial decisions or investments based off of the information you're about to hear. A lot of the stuff uh, we're presenting today is uh, conceptual and is subject to change. All right, so what am I going to be talking about today? So I'm going to be talking about Lightning for Gmail, uh, some of the benefits around that, um, how components are actually built, and uh, how we plan on leveraging this technology at DocuSign. So first things first, um, we have on the left, we have Gmail, and on the right, we have Outlook. And if you notice, there is a dedicated panel for Salesforce now. Um, so this allows us to interact with um, Salesforce records or information or components you know, within the context of an email thread. So um, this could you know, be a really great tool for your you know, sales reps or whoever's using um, Salesforce, you know, just having that central location. So why is this relevant to me? So we have the ability to create data-driven components and you know, dynamic content you know, based off of the people within an email thread or the subject or the content, et cetera. Um, so we use this or we can achieve this by using um, email addresses as a unique identifier. So an example of a component or something I can make would be, let's say I wanted, um, you know, to make a tool for my uh, sales reps to, you know, pull over information, you know, from an email. So they're talking to a client or a customer and, you know, they express some interest and we want to go ahead and make them a contact or something in Salesforce. So benefits. Um, so definitely um, having that centralized location uh, makes it really easy for uh, people, you know, especially if they don't, you know, live in Salesforce. Uh, some people are more comfortable, you know, working in an email setting, um, and then they just go to Salesforce every once in a while to do something. So it makes that process a lot easier for them. And then with that, you know, you get higher adoption of Salesforce processes. So uh, I always believed if you make life easier for your users, um, your processes will be adopted more. And then, of course, this is just a new opportunity in general. So it. Um, is an opportunity for us to make whatever we're building more sticky. So I work on you know, managed packages. Uh, so for us, this is a unique opportunity. We can you know, bring you know, functionality that was only in Salesforce you know, outside of Salesforce. And it's uh, pretty easy to set up and implement, and that's what I'm going to be getting into next. So awesome. So um, the experience is uh, subtly different, but um, still pretty simple. So first, uh, Gmail, first thing you would need to do is download a Chrome extension. So this Chrome extension is called Salesforce Lightning for Gmail. Um, and upon installing that, you'll have a icon in the top uh, corner. And then in Outlook, uh, it's a lot easier actually. So they have a built-in thing in their web console where you can just uh, simply in install this Lightning for Outlook component or extension. And then from there, you have to enable it in Salesforce. So um, you can look for the Gmail or Outlook settings, whichever you know, email client that you guys use. Uh, you enable that. After enabling that, um, you can start creating a layout. So here, you know, it's a very familiar process. Uh, you know, it's App Builder. So we can drag and drop um, different components, you know, standard or custom components um, that will display. So now I'm going to talk about actually building a component. Uh, so it's pretty simple. So pretty much you just need to add that tag at the very top. Clients available for uh, mail app page. And there's also another syntax for adding it on calendars. And I'm not going to really get into that today. And then also we need event handlers. So um, there are some standard um, objects that are returned um, with this. So one would be people. So this would be 
an array or collection of email addresses. So you have the to, from, and cc email addresses. Uh, you can pull in the subject, and from a, and additionally, you can pull in the source. So you can s tell if this component is being rendered um, in the mail view or the uh, calendar view. And then, of course, the message body. So going into more detail, uh, this is what the actual people object looks like. Uh, so it returns a name, an email, you know, pretty basic stuff. And then, of course, we would need to handle this in some way uh, in our client side controller, um, and then pass it to our back end controller, you know, perform queries, stuff like that. All right. So, what does this have to do with sales DocuSign, right? So pretty much um, our goal when we started building something was we wanted to create a way for users to interact with uh, DocuSign uh, envelopes and data in general you know, outside of Salesforce. Um, we wanted to empower users to take actions on envelopes that are in flight. So I'm going to show you what that actually looks like. So here we have an email uh, panel. Um, so we have a DocuSign component, and based off of the email address that's um, in the thread, uh, we're able to find a matching uh, envelope. So let's say I'm talking to this guy, I'm like, hey, um, did you ever get a chance to sign that contract? Um, and if he's like, oh, I lost it, I can immediately take action, so I can resend it. Or if he says there's uh, something wrong with the content in the actual document, I can change that as well by clicking correct. Or if he's like, you know what, I decided to go with a different vendor, uh, I can go ahead and void that. And in addition, i uh, just going to briefly mention this, uh, DocuSign status for Google Calendar. So it's that same experience, uh, but just in the context of a calendar view. So obviously, you have a bunch of people you're inviting. Um, a good use case for this would be you know, please sign this document before attending this meeting for whatever reason. So just kind of uh, highlighting some of the points I mentioned earlier. So it's an easy way to bring DocuSign for Salesforce uh, to users directly. Um, you know, like I said, not everyone lives in, in Salesforce, so just having this convenient centralized location is really awesome. And also this, this real-time aspect. So. Um, let's say our person were to sign this document, um, you know, shortly after the status component would update and it would show completed versus sent or delivered. So, going to be giving you guys a little demo. Just bear with me. Oh, that is not. All right. So, what do we have here? So today I'm going to be a recruiter. And I have this guy, Bob Smith. He's an engineer. He's uh, really you know, in high demand. Uh, so we want to close this deal quickly and get him an offer letter. So um, I'm going to click Send with DocuSign. So for those of you who aren't familiar with DocuSign, you're able to um, reference uh, information based off of the record that you initiate the process from. So here I pulled in my contact, Bob Smith, as a recipient. Uh, from here I can also add documents. So I can you know, add files and attachments. Uh, I can add DocuSign templates. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to select this. I have my recipient. I can create an email subject. So I can say, please sign this offer letter. Uh, there's some more advanced settings down here. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. So this is what I would call the um, tagging page. So here we can start dragging some of those DocuSign elements over. So I could say I want you to sign here. Uh, we can you know, pull in information about the recipients. Or we can, you know, add in text fields for uh, a place for them to actually populate data. So for now, I have this uh, company. So I'm going to uh, so 
I'm going to say, oh, actually, my bad. So I'm actually going to drag the person's name here. And then here, go ahead and do this. Make this a read-only field. I'm going to say uh, Salesforce developer. Staying in a theme of Dreamforce. All right. And then there, I can click send. So shortly, Bob Smith should be getting a um, envelope in his inbox. But first, I'm going to check here. All right, so this is what the actual experience looks like. Let me refresh this. Awesome. Now I have two uh, envelopes. So I have the uh, one I sent earlier and one I just sent now. So obviously you can see who it's from, last activity, the status of it, take any actions on it. Um, so for instance, if I were to sign this now, Oh, you know what? I actually forgot to do something. So we can go ahead and leverage our uh, new component. So by clicking correct, we have the ability to edit a document in flight. So this can be very important. Uh, you know, you can have that back and forth conversation between uh, you and your client, and uh, they can, you know, discover that something's missing or. Um, additional information is needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this sign tag, click correct. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. And the idea now is, is that when Bob Smith opens this email, he can now sign it. So I can sign it and then go back here, wait a couple seconds. It's an asynchronous process, so we got to wait, you know. I'm going to refresh this. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it's been delivered. Okay. One last try. All right, I'm not really sure what's going on. But anyway, once that document is completed, the status will now change to completed. So recap, so. So pretty much we were able to send a DocuSign envelope. We were able to track it in flight and we were able to um, take action on it. And you know, aside from actually sending that document, we didn't even need to go inside of uh, Salesforce or DocuSign. So Q and A. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot of sessions. Uh, a lot of them have actually passed, but yeah, we have a booth at uh, booth number 31, just right over there. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us. Uh, Lightning Beta at DocuSign, um, or you can just ask me right now. Does anybody have any questions? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think you would need to, since it's kind of separate. Any more questions, comments, feedback? All right, cool. Sounds good. All right, thanks a lot.